Hey everyone, hope your day is going well. Today I got a new video for you where I'm teaching you how to make your computer faster. I want to mention that these tips are specifically for Windows 10 computers. So if you have a Windows 10 computer, you're in luck. We're just going to get right into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. My first tip for you guys is going to be a very easy one, but also a very effective one. And what we're going to be doing is disabling programs from starting up when you first turn on your computer. So your first step to doing that is going to the magnifying glass in the bottom left, clicking on it and typing task manager. It's this option right here click on that you'll get this window that appears and you want to go over to the startup tab right up here on the top click that and it will have a list of programs that would normally start up when you first turn on your computer so if you see things here that you don't want to use and you don't need to have opened when you first turn your computer on all you have to do is right click them and click disable which you can see the status right here for all these different programs. Most of them are disabled. And if they were enabled, all of these things would launch when I first turn my computer on. And it could dramatically slow your computer down. So that's it for this tip. On to tip number two. For tip number two, we're going to be uninstalling unwanted programs. To do this, all you need to do is go over to the search button at the bottom left. Bring up this box here and type control panel. You should see it pop up right here like this. Click on that. And these are all listed in alphabetical order. You're going to go down to programs and features. When you click on that, it's going to have all of your programs and software that's installed on this computer. And you can go through them and things that you know of and you don't want. You can click on them and then come up here and click the button that says uninstall. But please do be careful what you uninstall. Some things you might not recognize but might actually be important to running your computer. Uh, like most of these things here from Microsoft Corporation, you're going to want to keep those. If something looks odd to you and you don't think it's a legitimate app, I recommend just taking the time title of the app and googling it to see what people say about it. If you find out that it's bad software to have, then of course go through and uninstall it. Okay, so this next tip, tip number three, is going to be mainly for laptop users, but could also help desktop users. And what we're going to be doing is going into our power settings. Once again, we're going to go to the bottom left corner, click on search, Type control panel, open it up, and go over here to power options. Click on that, and you're going to have some settings here. If this power saver mode is ticked like that, I definitely recommend going to balanced and activating that one instead. As you see here, it says saves energy by reducing your computer's performance where possible. Basically, it's going to slow your computer down in order to save battery life, which you might like if you have a laptop, but you also might not want this on constantly slowing you down. My next tip is going to be keeping your computer up to date. A lot of you might not know how to properly check for updates on your computer, so I'm going to show you that now. The first step is going once again to the magnifying glass in the bottom left, and you're just going to type update, and you'll see an option here, check for updates. Go ahead and click that, and you'll see a button here that says check for updates. Sometimes your computer will automatically check for updates, but it is worth going in here and checking to see if you are behind on updates. My fifth tip for you is going to be make sure you are running regular virus scans on your computer. If you don't know how to do this, your first step is to go to the bottom right corner and look for this white shield icon here, and you're going to click on that. This is the Windows Defender Security Center. If you don't have this icon in your bottom right, then you're going to want to search it in the bottom left. Okay, once you have this opened, you're going to click Virus and Threat Protection, and this is where you can see the button called Scan Now. So you're definitely going to want to come in here often and make sure that your computer is scanned and you always want to see this number zero here. If any threats are found, Windows Defender should give you the option to delete them. But one thing I want to mention is since most viruses by design are meant to get past Windows Defender scans, since it's the most used antivirus, I always recommend to get a second antivirus and for that I recommend 
Malwarebytes. You can download Malwarebytes for free on the internet. I can leave a link below for you guys. And they have a 14 day free trial for their premium version. After that, you can continue with the free version of Malwarebytes or you can decide to pay for the premium. And when you do have this program, you're going to want to click the same button, scan now. It's going to scan your computer and you'll be surprised that Windows Defender might not pick up any threats, but by running a scan on Malwarebytes, it will actually find things that Windows Defender couldn't. So definitely recommend Malwarebytes as a second option. They're very reliable. For this tip, as you can see on the screen, what I'm recommending is for you to close any app that you're not currently using. So if your computer is running slow, limit the amount of multitasking that you're doing. If you want to get a good idea of what apps are currently running, you can click the buttons Alt tab and you'll see an overview of all the apps that are currently open and you could just simply go through all of them and start closing them out. By doing this, you're allowing your computer to have more resources to spend on the things that you're actually doing, and therefore you'll have faster speeds. My next tip for you is about your internet connection. So a lot of the times when you're experiencing slow speeds on your computer, it might not be your computer's fault at all, it actually might be your internet connection. So a quick tip to improve that is to use a hardwire connection between your computer and your modem or router using an ethernet cord. This will allow you for a better connection between your computer and the internet. If you want more tips on how to get a faster internet speeds, I have a whole video on that that I just made recently. You can check it out. I'll put it in the description. I'll also put it in the top right corner for you to click on. So next up, I'm talking about computer hardware, and I want you to go check to see how good your computer hardware is. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the components that actually make up the computer itself. If you have really old components in your computer, your specs overall are going to suffer, and therefore, you're going to have a very slow computer. If you want an idea of what the specs are for your hardware that you currently have in your computer, you're going to want to go to the search menu on the bottom left and type about can click on the option that says about your PC and here you'll see a section called device specifications and you can take a look at your processor and the amount of RAM you have so currently I have 16 gigs of RAM which is pretty good no this does not mean your storage space RAM is totally different it's called random access memory basically the higher this number the faster your computer is going to be able to go and you're going to also look at the processor there's going to be a whole bunch of different names for all of you guys there's so many different processors what I recommend is just taking the name of your processor pasting it into Google and seeing how old it is or how good it is and you could decide from there whether you need to upgrade anything or overall just upgrade your whole computer and get a new one so one thing that that isn't listed here is your GPU or your graphics card. To check that, you're going to want to go to the search menu again, type out task manager, and go to the tab that says performance. Then from here, just go down to your GPU, and in this section here, it'll tell you how much memory your GPU has. Graphics cards have their own set of RAM called VRAM and the higher this number is the better your computer will be for gaming, uh, video playing, and things like that. So if this number is really low you can simply upgrade your graphics card and you might see a big improvement. My final tip for you today is to upgrade your hard drive to an SSD drive. SSD drives are called solid state drives and they're fairly new technology. They're overall very fast. They can read and write things at a much faster speed than old traditional hard drives. I'll leave a link to some of them below. And if you're tech savvy enough, you're going to want to have your Windows operating system on an SSD drive and that will overall improve the speed of your computer itself, especially for startup times. I know that this tip is a little bit more advanced, but I definitely want to include it because it can significantly help you if you know what you're doing. If you don't know how to install an SSD drive into your computer, then you could always take your computer to a local computer shop and ask them about an SSD hard drive upgrade and how much that'll cost you. Okay guys, so that's all the tips I have for you today. If I think of some more tips, I'll leave them in a the comment below. And if you think of any tips that might help the other viewers, feel free to comment that. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if this video helped you at all. And also you can share this video with your friends by clicking the share button. I thank you so much for watching. My name is David and I will see you guys next time.